Manly, manly trucks coming this way. Hi, everybody. It's Killbot the Gamer. This is the last mission of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Are you excited? I know I am. Oh, oh, oh. Blood, he's Come gone. On. Come on. Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost where? They stopped driving. Almost there. It's not much further. They're not talking about a city or a hospital anymore. They're talking about death. Come on. And it's done. That was sad. But it held true to the horror trope of the black guy always dies first. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching more. Racist, racist sledgehammer games. You're better than this. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. That's all we need is an excuse to go commit suicide. Hey, someone else would have done it, and I respect that person. You got any ideas? I got a lot of ideas. Just one. Oh, apparently I'm wrong. He just has one idea. It's probably like frontal assault. I liked being in it the first time. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Horrible idea. Jones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. It's not like they're invulnerable. Can I shoot Gideon? No. Over. Copy that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see him. Boom. Come on. Main gun over here. Enemy on the overpass. Main gun ready. One of ready. Trying to take a tear the boats. This thing has a little bit of a kick to it, you know. Did we get? This is it. Detach now. But we're over water. Mitchell, detach. Oh, whoa, whoa, man! Don't do that. It scares me. Approaching the breach point. Two one, be advised. We will be forced to strike the command center if you are unable to stop the launch. We'll risk further manticore contamination, but it will be our only option. If you don't think you can stop it, get the hell out of there. Copy that. Uh, where do I go? Oh, there he is. I went the wrong way, I'm sorry. This. He has, how come he has a light and I don't? Can I shoot up at them? Or is it just for like effect? They're not actually gonna do any damage. Up ahead. Let's move. Gideon, thermal readings are spiking inside the command center. They're going to launch soon. We'll oh no. I'm pretty sure since the game was designed for us to win. That yes, we will make it. I'm sure that's an option. That would suck if no matter what you did, the world was doomed. Mitchell, on me. And 
this looks highly suspect. Ilona, we're inside. You should be right next to the lunch. Yeah, we'll just leave a flooded basement. Just right there. Security breach in the cyber. All units converge on sector four immediately. You're just coming to your death, people. Swarm missiles ready. Rocket ready. Main gun ready. Intel. Just say that I uh, slowly getting the hang of this whole intel thing. And you're dead. Except for you over in the corner. Swarm missiles ready. Coming this way. You're not coming this way. We are going to smack you down. Vulnerable with this thing, it's awesome. Launch in B minus four minutes. What? I don't feel comfortable with the time frame given me. Swarm missiles ready. Cargo loading in progress. These guys are particularly hardy. Swarm missiles ready. supposed to go down I guess in T minus three minutes one is ready cargo loading complete man these missile these to get to the
weapons ready. There's an access point to the exhaust vents up ahead. I'm sending you the position. Of course, we'd probably have to get out of our suits to get in there. That's just how it is. Intel? Oh, yes. Let's go! Launch in T minus one minute. Holy crap! Hurry up here, I'm kind of waiting here. Let's use our manly strength! Come on! I'm tapping it! I mean, not as good as I'd like. There we go. Go! Okay! Too long? Okay, we're down here. Shield up. Let's go and I'm trying to brace myself, but I don't see anything. It's kind of red and orange. I think I'm heading in the right direction. I'm not sure. Heading towards the center of the orange. Okay, I think I see a little bit of it there. Yeah, yeah. Did it, people? I'm a hero. Somehow, I don't know what I did. Mitchell, hang on. Don't touch the metal. You're kind of cooked. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. Woohoo! Saved the world. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. Cause I got an exo suit, so I can carry you. Going in and out of consciousness. Oh. So basically, I can't move. And I got a lousy gun. Please let that be the end. Stay with me. He just like left me out in the open. So I'm just like, hey, guys, take this like badly wounded guy. Pick on him. City defenses are breaking. Atlas troops are collapsing. We need to know the status of that launch. Copy that, Kingpin. The launch has been aborted. Pete, launch is aborted. You copy? Kingpin. Copy. No, they don't. They don't copy. Elona, are you receiving? They're gonna blow up the whole city. Because they don't hear from you, man. Cut off. We need to move. They're going to hit this building any minute. What did I tell you? Can I see? It's just all black. Setting you down. I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Okay. Glow stickies? Do you have glow stickies? I like glow stickies. 
<gasps> Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exos! Come out of ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! What a douche. You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Which is what exactly? The attack on America. Unleashing Manticore, killing thousands you of mean millions, not just thousands. the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah. Twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I don't care. I killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm kind of a nice guy. I like to play Pinochle on the weekends and enjoy musical theater. Oh, who am I kidding? Who doesn't enjoy musical theater? Try to hit the release on your Exo. Oh, how do I do that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh. Now mine. We have cut the strings of Pinocchio. I'm a real boy. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No. It's all between. Which way did he go? I have no idea which way he went. Don't let Irons get away. No, is that him? You do it right this time. <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be awesome. Mitchell! His arm is gonna fall off. I'm not letting go. Yeah, but you you damaged my arm. There's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Don't pull him up. Don't pull him up. Come on, his arm's gonna fall off. That's what I'm thinking. Mitchell, what are you doing? What are you doing? See, he's like ridding himself of the very Mitchell, thing. I gave you a second chance. Gave him a second chance. That's exactly it. Disconnect. Amigal! Amigal! Do you think he was saying, like, America, in a sense? Like it was a not so subtle jab? Maybe, I don't know. Come on, let's not get into politics in these games here, Sledgehammer Games. I don't know what you're thinking. I've got you, mate. I've got you. It's only gonna end one way for us. Uh, guys, you're still in a building that's being targeted. You might want to get Irons down. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. Douche. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Oh, oh. And those statues, Babylonian, the fall of Babylon the Great, kind of apropos if you if you think about it. Crazy. Another kingdom falls. What kingdom shall rise to replace it? I'm just gonna toss out my own little private island. Anyway, that's the end. That's the end of the of the campaign. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's only 15 missions. I don't know what to say. It's uh, it's a Call of Duty game. You run around, you shoot. I mean, the story's good, but the gameplay itself is rather repetitive. Enter area, clear area, proceed to next area, clear. Uh, I mean, it's...
I like to keep my suckiness to myself. Um, but yeah, just like uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I enjoyed the single player. And uh, who knows what kind of uh, DLC will come with it. I know their zombies are coming or have come. And if it's on sale on Xbox Live, maybe I'll pick it up at some time. But uh, generally, they're too expensive for me to do it. Plus, when I did all the download, the downloadable content for Call of Duty Ghosts, I did the first one, and I finished the, you know, the storyline, infected or whatever it was called. I, I can't even remember what it was called. It was good with the with the aliens, but uh, or were they aliens? They came from within the earth. They were here all along. Anyway, um, I did the first one, but. And I think I even did the second one. I think I did do the second one, and that was okay. However, that was all I did. Uh, it was hard to find a good team to get together, and uh, so I just gave up. So that's probably what I'll do with this one. I won't even try. I won't even buy the download content. And just wrap it up and move on to the next game. So what did you guys think of the game? Did you like it? Did you get all the intel? Oh my goodness, I missed so much. What was your favorite part of the game? Did you enjoy the story? I thought it was well done. Very well done story-wise. So whoever the writers are on this game, give yourself a high five. I think it was good. It was engaging. And of course, the motion capture and resolution brought Kevin Spacey to life. It was like he was there on my screen, yelling obscenities. It was awesome. So... Yeah, if you liked the video, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate subscribing to the channel. And, uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Spread the word about Killbot, and you will be spared. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I will see you later. Bye. Ooh, Alan Tiduk. Tiduk. You know him. He's the pilot from Firefly. Oh, this is our land, and we shall call it our land. Oh, curse your inevitable betray- But, anyway, yes. Good show. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.